Anyway, I don't even know what I was saying before. I'm sure it was extremely insightful. Everything I say is extreme. It's not. Sorry, as I'm walking, I am uh, seeing a bunch of signs of moose, large hoof prints, and other types of signs. Um, don't know that we'll see any today. It's a little bit later in the morning. But I suppose the possibility is there. Absolutely no joke is the number of uh, biting insects that have already uh, discovered my trail. Fortunately, I'm pretty heavily doped up with bug spray, so I think that seems to be keeping their interest at a minimum, but you can certainly hear them swarming. And that's pretty typical for early summer in northern Maine. Black flies, mosquitoes, pretty much if it can bite you and suck your blood, it's up here somewhere. Uh, we are about a mile give or take up the up the trail and it looks like in a little bit things should well the kind of this uh, consistent uphill steepness it doesn't level out I mean it does kind of become a series of uh, ups and downs, which may or may not be a welcome break or just annoying. I don't know if my audio was working earlier, but I had recently read that sometimes people call elements of trails like that, puds, or pointless ups and downs. Sounds about right, but we'll see. We'll see what we're getting into. This region of land, uh, we're technically in what's called Big Moose Township, a little bit uh, outside of Greenville, Maine but uh, it was originally part of a property belonging to a uh, logging company that, or paper company, that uh, originally had uh, uh, written, uh, signed on to this uh, plan. It was supposed to be a multi-year plan. Uh, shoot, I forget the name of it. I'll, I'll put a little text uh, in the video but um, anyway that uh, plan was terminated in 2022 or 2020 I believe yeah it was terminated in 2020 and by September of 2022 uh, a new plan had been drafted um, but unless you're into real estate and zoning and that stuff, which I'll admit I'm not, you would probably find it almost as boring as I did. I did try to read some of it, but not really. Anyway, it's this trail, this Eagle Rock Trail, was one of the first trails uh, created 
during that initial part of the original plan. The original Eagle Rock Trail starts on the other side of this uh, feature, mountain. Mountain seems a strong word. It's just over 2,300 feet, give or take. But that trail, that original trail, was 1.5 miles one way, uh, steeper, but shorter. Whereas this, which is the, the new trail, relatively speaking, is about 3.7 miles one way. So you're looking at three out and back for the original, about 7.4 for this new one. One of the reasons why I took the, the new, albeit longer, trail is because there's another feature called Raven's Ledge that's supposed to give you some pretty great views to the west and to the south. So you should be able to look across toward the west at Indian Pond. I'm not sure if it's coming through on any of the footage. The trail's a little muddy in places, but I mean, it's certainly not, not terrible. I don't think there's been any standing water. There was a, a brief pop-up thunderstorm yesterday, but that was early mid-afternoon and it might have lasted all of 15, 20 minutes. And I don't even know if this area, which is north of where I was, uh, if it got it or if it got it as bad or worse or whatever, but overall, pretty good conditions, I'd say. One of the things about the mud is <laughs> in the tracks, I am thinking that there might be more moose using this trail than humans and I've got no problem with that. Portions of trail like this where you've got some mature firs uh, on either side carpeted with old needles and that smell of uh, maybe not balsam per se but that resiny fir tree scent almost smells like Christmas <laughs> and uh you know, some blue overhead, we're kind of out of some of the canopy, for a little bit anyway. You know, these moments on, on trails are just, in my opinion, some of the best. I just, I really appreciate uh, all, how all of those elements combine together to create a, an experience that's hard to duplicate if not impossible. Last summer, my brother and my nephew, my oldest son and one of his friends, hiked up uh, Mount Co and North and South Brother. And there were portions of the trail that had this almost fairy tale like quality to them with the sunlight kind of cutting through and moss uh, carpeting the ground. That's a little bit of a, of a similar feeling through this stretch right here. So if we take this spur in the, well, that way, we get uh, Raven Ledge. So that's what we're gonna head to. It's only 375 feet from here. So it should be a pretty brief spur. It's pretty scrambly, 375 feet. This is Raven's Ledge. And we've got an amazing view. Uh, 180 for sure, maybe a little more. If you look out behind me. Back toward the 
west out there. Here you can see Indian ponds maybe. And then again, I'll have to look and double check to see what's more south of us here. But just beautiful forest below us. And I'll have to look it up to see if that's really Montane spruce forest or if it's something else. That's That would be my guess. Well, I suppose it could be subalpine, but I think we're not quite high enough for that, even though we are in uh, northern Maine. But regardless of whatever kind of forest that is, it's uh, this is a beautiful, beautiful little spot. Yeah, let's get down, get uh, that next mile knocked out, and check out the view from uh, Eagle Rock. I'm sorry, I don't think it'll pick up on camera, but way across the horizon, like just on the horizon. I, yeah, I don't know if it'll come through or not, but I believe you can see the wind farm that is in Bingham, Maine. Just barely see that uh, row of windmills. After taking this section of trail, <laughs> I'm reminded that uh, one of the one of the all trails reviews for Eagle Rock Trail suggested that uh, someone had seen 107 piles of well moose evidence, and based on what I'm seeing and have seen, that number sounds about right. admit despite the highly improbable odds that uh, I keep looking around anytime I'm in a spot with some not really clearings but a little less little less uh, density hoping that I might glimpse a, a moose. But again, that's extremely unlikely. I suspect we're not gonna see much in the way of moose on this hike. Oh well, it is still, uh, it's still nice. Nice walk in the woods.
so wind is up some wind up here see how well the uh, microphones can handle that but here we are at the top of Eagle Rock again it's really only uh, 2,370 ish feet somewhere just over 2,300 so not not high really in the grand scheme of things but high enough to give some amazing 360 degree views this is beautiful up here I don't know if it picks up if I'm right just about the middle third top of the middle third you should be able to see Mount Kineo which is pretty much right inside of Moosehead Lake and if you look out you can see Moosehead uh, just below the horizon just below the, all those mountains Moosehead is a, an extremely popular uh, tourist region, and uh, for good reason. It is it is beautiful. There's there's some chains anchored to hooks in the driven into the into the rock, and I'm just I'm curious what they're for. They don't look like they would have been beefy enough for a, a structure, but then again. Uh, I'm not sure. I, when I was trying to find information about Eagle Rock, I could not find a lot. Uh, so I really don't know its history. All right, well, I had a, had a little bit of a snack up here. Just, uh, just a little bit of a rest just to enjoy the, the views. Sweat coming up here, and it was actually a little bit here. But that's also typical. Uh, but that said, it's time to head down. So yeah, I mean, it's hard to leave because it's just, it's nice. Like, you know, I've got the whole mountain to myself. It feels like, anyway, I haven't seen anybody, like I said earlier, no other vehicles in the parking area. I had no idea, but there was apparently a thing called. Well, shoot, now I can't remember. Anyway, it's, I think, six peaks that all give you a different, uh, distinct vantage point of who's head um, And one thing that I forgot to mention, just at the horizon, uh, you can see Borestone uh, to the right of that. It's a bit of a, of a dip uh, valley. It's Bodfish Valley. And then right to the, well, to the left, of Borstone, you can see uh, Barron, where the AT goes up over. Um, and I'll uh, I'll, put a, I'll put links to them in the description. Uh, yeah, I just I didn't realize you could see Moosehead from there, which is I think I should have because there is that big map, kind of a, a radial map of everything you can see from Borstone at the top of Borstone, which is a good place for it. Uh, and it, it probably does point out Moosehead, so. You want to have some grippy soles working your way down Eagle Rock here. Yeah, I don't know if you could hear that slipping, but that was, uh, yeah, <laughs> interesting. Anyway, we are down off of Eagle Rock, back on the trail, so about uh, 3.7 to 4 miles, depending on who you believe, uh, before we're back to the parking lot. And I think I'm starting to get an idea of why <laughs> some of those uh, reviews of this trail made reference to uh, those pointless ups and downs because I'm still working my way back toward the uh, the spur toward Raven's Ledge pretty close, not there yet though and 
in some ways it's feeling like I'm going up another mountain. Uh, I'm sure I wasn't thinking that when I was coming down those little bits here and there. I am definitely feeling the ups on the way back down as uh, paradoxical as that might sound. We've come down, well, and, and up uh, most of the way, most of the major gain on the way down, again, as weird as that sounds to put into words, but that's the way the terrain works. Uh, anyway, uh, I'm on the, pretty much the last major downhill um, between here and the parking lot. There is one, maybe a little bit of a, a bump up and then back down, down. Uh, but all of this, all of that is the same route I came in on in the morning. So it is, well, uh, nothing you haven't already seen. Uh, anyway, I say all that to say that this is the end of the video. And I hope you enjoyed the views from Raven's Ledge and Eagle Rock as much as I did and uh, hope you enjoyed the walk in the woods in between. Mm -hmm.